Hi everyone and welcome to our presentation. Today we'll be presenting on our diversity, equity, and inclusion task force. My name is Bo DeMello and I'm the Vice President of External Relations as well as the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Task Force Organizer for Huskython. My name is Abby Conrad and I'm the Executive Director of Huskython. As we watch the world change and continue to evolve, our organization knew we needed to change for the better. In order to do so, we created this task force with the goal of becoming a better organization for all people. Traditionally, dance marathons and Huskython specifically had a reputation for being very fraternity and sorority oriented. We decided that in order to break that mold, we needed to focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion. We hope to continue to build an organization that welcomes all in a community that thrives on its diverse participants. In this presentation, we hope you'll learn how our DEI task force runs, how a task force can help your organization, how to run a successful meeting focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion, as well as some tangible responsibilities that you can assign to your team. The leader of our diversity, equity, and inclusion task force is a vice president or a member of your steering board or committee. Our Vice President of External Relations leads our task force because the position of Vice President of External Relations is responsible for working with our university administration and other external parties, as well as monitoring how we as an organization interact with everyone outside of our internal team. The task force consists of managers, directors, or whoever is a part of your smaller internal team that is responsible for running your organization. These managers and directors who are selected to be a part of the task force are then responsible for holding the other managers and directors on your internal team accountable. The task force is structured so that managers or directors hold quite a lot of responsibility, but they're fully supported by other members of the task force. It is each manager or director's responsibility within the task force to report on their team's initiatives and updates to the task force, as well as keep an eye out, keeping an eye out for things that need to be brought to the task force's attention. Upon bringing the information to the meetings, however, the task force as a whole can evaluate and provide feedback, help and support the initiatives that have been brought to their attention. And if something is time sensitive, as in it needs to be reviewed immediately, or if a director has the desire to get something specific looked at or evaluated, they're more than welcome to contact the leader of the, of the task force directly. At meetings, task force members bring the initiatives that they are working on or that their teammates are working on to the task force for discussion. Task force members then openly discuss the initiatives brought to the meeting, brainstorm and decide on specific ways that each initiative can uphold the DEI goals set by the task force. The end of each task force meeting is dedicated to deciding whether the initiatives brought to that meeting are ultimately diverse, equitable and inclusive enough to move forward. If they are not, the task force then further brainstorms how to better the initiative to make it more inclusive. The leader of the task force then brings the decisions from the task force to the director or manager in charge of that initiative to make the necessary changes that the task force determined. One of the most important aspects of the task force itself is the knowledge and awareness that its members possess. Task force members need to know what to look for, what's appropriate, and how they can be more inclusive. Oftentimes, this can be difficult to know, so it's helpful to have a professional come into a meeting and give a training or lecture of some sort early in the year. We have utilized our school's administration in the past to help us secure these trainings, but some other good sources are professors and outside sources. There are companies that provide diversity, equity, and inclusion trainings if that's in your budget. However, there are always ways around spending money. Once your task force has been through training, they can help educate your entire internal team. Our vision is to do this monthly through little presentations and possibly even guest lecturers. Ultimately, the goal is for this information and our education to trickle, trickle down to the lowest level of our participants. Well, a lot of what the task force does is holding the internal team accountable and keeping diversity, equity, and inclusion at the forefront of everything our internal team does, the members also have tangible responsibilities. 
our DEI task force members must attend the biweekly task force meetings. They also are responsible for creating diversity, equity, and inclusion goals for each position on the internal team. Task force members are also responsible for providing live captioning on all live streamed events, closed captioning on all videos posted, and ASL translators at all in-person events. Task force members are responsible for celebrating and educating the internal team on a variety of topics, including Pride Month, Disability Awareness Month, Black History Month, Autism Awareness Month, and so many more. Here is an example of what we posted in celebration of Pride Month. The caption goes into detail about all that Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and our local ch Children's Miracle Network Hospital do to support the LGBTQIA2S plus youth. The task force contributed sources about Pride Month and the community and the challenges this community faces, faces when receiving health care, which were added to the link in our Instagram bio. Here's another example post. This is an example of what we posted in response to the violence against the black community during the summer of 2020. In this post, Huskython made a promise to stand together against racism, discrimination, and violence, and promised to continue to educate our university community on healthcare inequities, which disproportionately affect our black community. As our task force grows and evolves, we see it playing a pivotal role in our organization. We want to educate our community to help them become more inclusive and understanding. We also want to grow our organization by including new and different members of our campus community. Some of our task force initiatives for this year include securing ASL translators at in-person events, closed captioning on our videos, and teaming up with cultural centers and other aspects of our community to create an environment that is welcoming to everyone on campus and beyond. I hope you were able to gain some insight into how diversity, equity, and inclusion can impact your dance marathon. Thanks for taking the time to watch.